Hey, love bugs. So I'm here, guys, to do another read for Cancer. This is going to be for Cancer All House Placements, but I'm just going to get straight into the reading, y'all. Listen, I got a particular message. There's two of them. There's two of them. First one said, a real bruja don't miss her target. The second one was just simply the devil's advocate. Hmm. The emperor first card out. Guys, if you wish to book with me, shop with me, all that information is in the description box below. So I would assume at this point that somebody who may consider themselves to be powerful or just narcissistic, not a source there, that somebody's coming in with a message. I'm thinking, feel like it's meant to throw you or it's meant to do something. And somebody who sits in misery, whatever this is, the two of coins, there's somebody who back talks. Somebody who says one thing and then says something else, okay? Their language is very flip-flop. Nine of Wands. They could also be making things, prolonging something, making things very difficult. Mm. Tell me more. Seven of Wands and the Lovers. Kids, so this person doesn't like the way that they can't uh, get close to you. This is somebody who's trying to get close. They try to get close, but they just don't like the fact that no matter what they do, nothing seems to be working or panning out, all right? Someone is not able to gain access to you, your world, the way that they really, really want to. They're blocked out. They're trying every which way to get in, to find out information, to know things about you. Spying even. Some of you, they literally say spying on your love life, okay? Sending in false mates, false twins, things of this nature. The chariot, yeah. Trying to send you some sort of chaos and confusion. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords. The Eight of Coins. For a lot of you, this may resonate with work, okay? Love, life, family, take it as it resonates though, okay? Could be two or more people that are involved in whatever this is. Tell me more about the Emperor and the Two of Chalices. The Queen of Coins. They literally say, imagine thinking that you were better and you're not. Okay, whoever this is has this impression of themselves that they're better or they're not. All right, somebody may like to dress a certain way to give off a certain air about themselves. But whatever this is, is not real. You know, it's, it's just not real. Okay. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Coins. The Queen of Swords. <sighs> yeah. Some of you are sitting there and saying, so this is all you got. Some of you, this could be a spiritual attack, spiritual warfare that it could be being thrown towards you. Or this is just negativity, gossip, slander, things of that nature. But whatever it is, you kind of sit in there, Cancer, and I see you like, so this is all you got? Your head is protected, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This looks like attacks in vain. Hmm. What's the two of coins in the chariot? Ooh -wee. Some of you are conducting a return to sender. Some of you are doing some sort of work on your own to counteract what you believe has been sent. But not because you necessarily need to. But because they didn't know who the fuck they was playing with. Right? Simple. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck or the Queen of Chalices. Right? This is your energy. They didn't know who the fuck they was playing with. The two of swords and the two of wands. You can go left or right. Both times you're going to fail. You're going to miss your target. That's why he said the target is you, Cancer. They're missing the target. Do you see here? They're missing the target. They don't even know what to do. They don't even know what to do. Some of you, they've been doing this in small doses or over time, all right? I really feel like this is somebody that's not very skilled in something or they don't really know what they're doing, okay? Some of you, this person that may not even be aware that they're doing this at all. Just they're, they're I feel like they're, 
negative thoughts about you, negative feelings towards you is growing into something very ugly and could be raining down in, in sort of like a poltergeist sort of way, right? Um, tell me more about the seven of wands and the lovers. The ace of cups. Page of cups. And the knight of cups. <laughs> And guys, I've used this deck before, so there's no way in the world that these came out like they did. Um, yeah, the nine of swords is at the bottom of the deck. Returned to cinder. Simple as that. Throwing rocks and hiding their hand. They could be trying to draw your attention to other things while they're doing slick shit off to the side, thinking you didn't notice, but you did. You just, a lot of you just haven't spoken your truth yet on whatever this is, all right? Um, they may have little goons or little people that are doing their dirty work for them as well. They don't even know they're leading these lambs to the slaughter is what they're doing. Cancer, I really don't know who you are. This may not resonate for all of you, but you, if you are a cancer who is spiritually protected or you have your spiritual protect, practices or you spiritually protect yourself, they gonna think hellfire is raining down on them when you do this return to send it to whomever this is that has sent you ill will, negative intent. All right, getting it off of you. Small work. Tell me more about the Queen of Swords for cancer. The hanged man. <laughs> See, I love it. Eight of Wands is at the bottom of the deck to the Eight of Cups and the Hierophant. Three of Cups. Let me tell you something. You may have noticed a spiritual attack being sent towards you. They, the, the, the message was a real bruja does not miss her target. The devil's advocate. Somebody is dibbling and dabbling in the shit they know nothing about. It's not in their lineage nor in their bloodline to do such work, but yet they are still trying. You knew this. You're aware. You sit back, you watch, you wait, and you listen. You don't speak your truth. You didn't speak up too quickly. Eight of Wands, Eight of Cups, and the Hierophant. You know why? Because you knew that there was a need to wait for the right time to do a particular working to return something to someone. This is why... When you do this, you come out triumphant. It's knocking the shit out the box, whatever this is. Handling that shit. It's knocking it clean out the box. Tell me more about the Queen of Coins. The Six of Wands. You're going to defeat and overcome whoever this is. I see asking for mercy still. I see asking for mercy yeah take this burden and this bullshit back to where you came from return the sender tenfold ten of wands if you were going to do it it's saying tenfold not seven not six not nine not seven or nine ten you could have worked them a long time ago you could have returned whatever this is or you could have done them whatever it was that they meant to do you if this is not a spiritual practice for you maybe you just have the information that's needed to take somebody down or to ruin them but yet you sat on top of it you held on to it and you didn't say anything waiting for an opportune time the opportune time has come or it will come let me see what you were waiting on Let's see what you were waiting on. A lot of you were divinely guided and you listened to your spirit guides and you knew that you needed to wait. Let's see. What was Cancer waiting on? Or when will Cancer make this move? Oh. It's going to take a while. What did I say? A lot of you knew you waited for the right time. Something about the Easter season. Or something about this just around the corner. Easter is just around the corner, right? Yeah. A festive season. Yeah. Some of you are waiting for something. They also said some of you waiting for a solstice or something like this. Allow things to come. You're wasting your time. You knew that this was a waste of this person's 
today. Today, tomorrow, when you, when you let go. Yeah. Some of you may do that work now. You may wait. All right. Some of you may. Uh, I heard surrender the information. Surrender the documents. I heard there's something about turning something in like they, they, there's literally some information that you have that could ruin this person but due to fear of karma or something like that you may have held out waited some uh, or something like this but i see where you waited and you waited long enough like you'll intuitively know when it's time time and they keep showing me the father the son they keep showing me the trinity all right they do keep showing me the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I keep seeing it over and over and over again. You waited because you knew that you were up against some sort of dark force or you, you were aware that someone was sending dark, negative forces towards you. Tell me more about judgment. The tower. Y'all, the will of fortune, judgment, in the tower? Baby, baby, I heard unleash the dragon, like literally. <laughs> Tell us more. The three of swords and the three of coins. Oh my God. And the town. They, while they will suffer from whatever it is that they tried to do. You will be fine. They, they said, hold, look at that justice. Your world is unaltered. There's is definitely turned upside down. Definitely turned upside down. Mm -mm. Real brew house don't miss their target. Tell me more about the hangman. The nine of coins whatever this is that someone's unable to alter your reality they're unable to alter what people think about you their perception of you however you feel it you can feel it you know that it's being done or that it's being sent not to say that <clears throat> the work itself is very powerful but to say that you're aware that it's being sent Not the fool. The seven of swords and the star. Oh, and the six of cups. Mm. They may have tried to sabotage a new beginning for you. Um, they could have tried to sabotage anything that would be new. All right, new opportunities, new beginnings. Um yeah, you could have suffered through dealing with things falling down and apart around you. But the thing is, with the nine of chalices here and the eight of wands, uh-oh, uh-oh, the four of swords, the world. I feel like you still in triumphant. It doesn't even take like all of your energy. This whatever you're doing isn't really draining. It's just this easy for you to return something to sender. It's that simple. Yeah, I feel like the outcome of this is confusion, stagnation for whoever has sent some, such a thing. All right. Um. Awesome. I want to speak on the fact that. You being much more powerful than these people or person. Let's see her. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Tell us more about the town and justice. This could be a Libra or an Aries. Something about dead bird. Dead birds, dead birds. 
dead birds. The three of wands and the ace of coins. That's the outcome for you. Future, triumphant, great balance. You're gaining monetarily, getting new things. You have new things ahead of you. You have a lot of balance coming in. You are protected from the things. Like once you do this work, you have to. It's protection work that you're doing, all right? Seven of Swords, because what lies beneath this, what you're unaware of, is that some situation that you think is good for you is not. Some, some connection, rather. Somebody who you may have thought had your best interest at heart, they don't. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. The Four of Cups. There will be sorrow, defeat, regret, the tower. But whomever this is that sent this energy towards you, there's a stir up. They're confused as to how they thought they got away with something. They didn't. Tell me more about the tower. The seven of wands. Oh, no, baby. I'm protected from all of that. I got protection from all of that. That's what my boy said. Yes, you got protection from all of that. Ten of coins, the ten of chalices, and the five of coins, where they once had happiness, fulfillment, financial stability, it will all crumble. Some of y'all are going to listen to this reading and say, well, Tona, I don't want to do that to anybody. The karma behind that. Do you think they gave a fuck about what it was they was going to do to you? They just not real workers. They they don't have the eye shape to really make the work hit that they meant. That shit was meant to knock you down. It just didn't work. Because what did I tell you in the beginning? I heard a real bruja don't miss her fucking target is what I heard. And I was just trying to clean it up because it was the beginning of the video. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's what I heard. A real bruja don't miss her fucking target. The devil's advocate. They missed the target. And see, the thing about it is when you go out to do the dirty work for the devil or for low vibrational energies, entities, with whomever you're doing it for, you never know the price that is going to be paid. And sometimes the research, somebody didn't do their research. They didn't know that, hey, this one is unfuckwittable. You might could have fucked with somebody else, but you can't fuck with them. Hmm. Interesting. Ten of coins. Look at this. What was meant for me? Your good things. They you're gonna receive like their good things. King of Wands. King of Coins. Judgment. Their flunkies may start to side with you or something, but somebody's gonna try to side with you, the magician. Nine of coins. Eventually, the people who worked against you with this person or or even this person are they're going to try to come your way they're going to be sadly fucking mistaken the hermit you're not dealing with any of them not fooling with it with any of them definitely give an evil eye wearing your protective jewelry on top of doing whatever work you need to be done be spiritually led my loves this is where i'm leaving this off at if the messages here resonate give it a thumbs up like share and subscribe and until next time guys bye bye